This is the new community crime map that Danville, Virginia is using for our crime. So first, what you want to do is visit communitycrimemap.com, click up here in the URL, and then that'll bring you to this page showing you the whole country. But to see Danville, all you need to do is come over here to jump to city, click the down arrow, and then just scroll down to Virginia, VA, and go back up a little, dash Danville. And that'll bring you right into the city center. Now from here, you have many options. Depending on what date range you want to look at, what type of crime, um, first what we can show is the buffer. If you want to look at crime within, let's say, a half mile radius of just the city center, we would come here to turn on buffer. And you can change that to only display crimes within that buffer, change it to 500 feet, up to five miles. Of course, in this case, you'd want to zoom out to view that. But that's going to give you a good idea of the location. Now, if you want to visit a specific address in Danville, so let's just say, for example, we want to look at crime around the airport area. So if you come over here to the address bar and enter, you can just say airport, Danville VA, hit enter, and then that'll zoom over to the Danville Regional Airport. So now you can see crime within this area, and we will bring that buffer down to 500 feet or 1,000 feet, or let's make it a half mile. So now we're looking at crime within a half mile of the Danville Regional Airport. And this date range we are looking at right now is one month. So under the date range area, you can choose any predefined date from three days to one year. So we're going to click on one year. And let's turn off our buffer to give a better idea. And now we're looking at much more crime, of course, because this is a longer date range covering the entire area. And then if we just want to look at the airport again and make it a, uh, let's make it a mile radius, then it will only show us crime in that area. Now, if you want to look at a list of these crimes that are, that are showing up in the map, we would come up here to the top of the web page and click on the data grid. So now we're just going to look at a table of all these crimes that's displayed on the map. And there are different options to view that as well. If you come over to analytics, this shows us some graphs of all those crime types broken down. And over here, back in the map, under event, this shows you all the different crime types. And you can control which ones you see depending on which you select. So let's turn off our buffer again so we can see the whole city. And you can pan around. Now, of all these crime types, you can deselect all and then just select a specific one. Let's say you want to look at theft. So now we're only seeing theft. Or if you only want to look at aggravated assault and assault other, you will only see that. Or if you want to see all crime types, select all and you'll see everything. So then when you come over to your data grid, of course, you will see many more listed. And down here at the bottom of the page, you would use these arrows to go to the next page or the last one, depending on how many you want to look at. And coming back over to analytics, we'll show you these graphs again, except this time, of course, it involves many more crime types. And there are different views here. Over on the top right, this is breaking down the crime occurring per day of the week. So as you can see, um, for example, Sunday, we have 10 accounts of all other criminal. If you hover your mouse over that, it will tell you how many. Over on Saturday, if you hover your mouse over this one, drugs and narcotics violations, there are 11 occurring. And so these just give you some good visuals breaking down what types of crimes occur and how many and what day of the week. Or you can look at day of the week by hour down here in this graph you're going to see more of a heat map showing um, around, say, Wednesday, around 3 p.m. It looks like more crimes are occurring then as opposed to Wednesday around 6 a.m. 
So you can use this graph to view specifically what times of days crimes are more likely to occur. Um, over here, this is showing you different dates within our time frame. When these crimes are occurring, you can hover your mouse over any to tell you how many and what type. Or up at the top, of course, we have a pie graph breaking down the various types of crime and how many are occurring. And then up here, the last tab we'll show you is the metadata tab, and that's just showing that the data is provided by the Danville Police Department. Now, a couple of new features that distinguish this map from our previous crime map is now you have the option to click on any crime here. For example, we'll click on this one, vandalism, damage, destruction. You have the option to submit an anonymous tip using this link here. So any crime, you can open the pop-up box, click on submit an anonymous tip, and that will open up a new page where you can fill out any information that you may know about that, are, that could be helpful to the police department. And it's anonymous, so you don't need to leave your contact information or name or anything. So all you need to do is enter what happened, what the subject is, where, and then you want to fill out submit tip to, click on this box, come over here to the right and find this scroll bar, pull it all the way down to the bottom, and find Danville VA Police Department, and click on that. Okay, and then in the details description box, just go ahead and type whatever information you believe would be pertinent to this crime event. And if you need to upload a file, any information, you can do so here. Click on choose file, and then you'll go ahead and navigate to the place on your computer or phone and upload that information if necessary. And then just click on I'm not a robot and submit your tip. The other main change between this new community crime map and our previous one is that in addition to submitting tips to the police department, you can also receive alerts based on crime in your area. So in order to do that, all you need to do is come up here to the top right corner of the web page, click on sign up for crime alerts. And from here, you want to just fill out your name, email address, an address, as well as a distance, which is the radius from your, the address you're giving them. It can be anywhere from 1,000 feet to five miles. And then you would select what frequency you want, whether you want to know on a daily basis, a weekly basis, or a monthly basis what crime is occurring. And then you want to select the time that you would like to receive that. And then here, any types of crimes you want to receive information on. Now, there are a couple of types of crimes that Danville actually does not report. Um, one of them is the sexual offense, all other, as well as sexual assault. And that is simply to protect victim privacy. So we don't have that information mapped. However, any other crime you should be able to receive notifications on. Narrow it down to as few as you want or as many as you want then all you have to do is click sign up and then you'll start receiving your alerts. Now, this is a lot of information for this app. However, you can learn more in the tutorial section. So if you come up to the top, click on help, the tutorial link will open in the next page and you can scroll down to read about the different options you have at the top. So we switched from map to data grid to analytics that shows your graphs to metadata so here explains the differences between those the map is the default web page and then underneath you can read about any type of information you need help with such as searching for a location searching for an address jumping directly to a city using the buffer feature to get any mile radius or foot radius from your location using the map control, zooming in and out. You can also read about how to select crime types or deselect them, adjusting the dates. And another feature that I wanted to show you is the hotspot. So over here to under analytic layers, you can turn on the density map, which will show you 
a hotspot view of where crime is occurring. So if you pan around here, you can see areas that are that are turning red or green, yellow, closest to red, that's gonna be where there tends to be more crime occurring. And if you zoom in, you just wanna come over to density map and click calculate. So it'll recalculate based on that area that you've zoomed into. There we go. So this just gives you a good visual of where crime is occurring based on that point information. So there are a lot of things that you can control with this new application involving the type of event, the type of crime you're viewing, the date range, as well as whether you want to view the density map or not. We also do not currently provide the sex offender data that's under the offenders bar. That's because that's national data that is not something reported by the Danville Police Department. It might be an option in the future. However, at this time, if you turn this layer on, that's not going to show anything. It's a default view in the application. And that concludes our overview of the Danville Community Crime Map. However, please view the help section where there is a thorough tutorial on any information. You can also view the different crime type definitions which gives a little more detail on the differences between types of crime as well as an overview of all the functionality.